Oh boy. You can't be fighting with the other recruits. You need those men to have your back. There's enough out here trying to kill us without trouble amongst our own. Finn's a bully. Couldn't just let him push me around. Fight every bully at Castle Black and that's all you'll ever do. I'm Garrett. Frostfinger told me about you. Seems to think you might be trouble. Apparently. You might be right. He said worse about me. <laughs> said you fought for the north with the foresters you were there at the twins yes I still don't understand 3,000 men and not one could save my brother why didn't anyone fight back why didn't they rally to their king nobody was expecting it one minute we were drinking and telling jokes and, and the next the phrase cut us open Those cowards. Couldn't face Rob like men, so they stabbed him in the back. They couldn't even give him an honorable death. Let him die fighting. Your brother would have won the North's freedom. He deserved to be king. He was good at it. He was good at everything. Now the Freys command River Run, and the Boltons are wardens of the North. After what they did, it's not right. They murdered my family. I should have been there. I keep thinking if I'd been there, I could have done something. But chances are, I'd be dead too. Whatever I once thought, my place is here. With the Night's Watch. I've got to wonder if these guys are going to come together. Well, you know, the main characters we're following now are going to come back together in the end. Or if it's just going to be... Like, the others seem to kind of tie together. They're all about bringing back the Foresters, but... Tuttle here is just kind of... will hate you for who you are. Southerners who will call you traitor. Northerners who will call you craven. Some won't even have a reason. They'll hate you anyway. You can't do anything about it. Trust me, I know. I'll just stay quiet on this one. It just seems really hard to Most bring of the back a. Uh, forced to take the black. You were a squire for a noble house. This one from Castle happened Black. To you today happened to me more times than I can count. I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust. Come on, let's go. Oh, I'm in control. That's why he's not going. We gotta peer over the wall. But let I us look down. The same first time I saw it. I heard you want to be a ranger. Why? Why risk your life out there? Um. To find the North Grove. The North Grove? <laughs> you serious? Old Nan used to tell us a tale about ice dragons and trees tall as the sky. Why would you want to find the North Grove? Why does it matter to you? It's important to House Forrester. Better keep that to yourself. We can trust Jon Snow. Not many recruits want to be rangers. They'd rather stay here where they think they'll be warm and safe. But Mance Raider marches on the wall with a hundred thousand wildlings. I've seen them for myself. The men here are murderers. Thieves, rapers. You won't like most of them, and they won't like you. But they're your brothers now. Can you stand with them? Can you see past your differences? I'll stand with them. Glad to hear it. 
Don't have to like him. Say you'll get used to the cold, but you won't. Come on. Better get by a fire, or you'll end up like Frostfinger. Of course, I also have absolutely no idea how long I've been playing this time around. The problem of uh, not cutting up, cutting it up into episodes is uh, I don't keep quite as close a track. Or episodes, parts, whatever. I'm here. Where are you? It's a fine question. And who are you? I'm assuming the little cold boy. <gasps> How far can we look around? Okay, now it keeps us in a general direction, so... Something this way? Jeez! Oh, okay, may have jumped a bit at that. Who's that? Um, and I'll just walk up to them. No! Where do you think oh. you're going? At this time of night? I, I was just headed back to my room. It's a little late to be out, isn't it? Do you know what this uniform means? It means you serve the Lannisters. So, you best get yourself back to your chambers. And I mean, now. Don't like it, you can take it up with the commander. Can't I just stay a while longer? Please. Did you not hear me? At ease, Lucan. The lady is with me. Yes. Phew. Enjoy your night. I hope it wasn't bothering you, my lady. I'm Damien. You were in the throne room earlier. What brings you to the garden? You do. You got my note. That was you. I'm very glad you could make it. Probably best not to directly mention the note, but yeah. I've been wanting to talk to you for quite some time. Did you search my room? What were you looking for? Nothing, Lady Mira. I only wish to leave you a note. Okay. I am sorry about this, Mira. But you've made enemies of the wrong people. Uh oh. A handmaiden should know her place. What people? This is not good. If that helps. I'd hate to see you suffer. Oh, hopefully we have a chance to avoid this. Okay, it's saved, so that probably means that press push. Okay, press down, no. Okay, not enough. Please. Okay, give me a chance to try it again. Yeah. So she's not destined to die like Ethan was. Alright. Let's keep pushing down. Um. There we go. Run. Nope. Um. Uh, oh. Okay, well, we've got a chance. Oh boy. You're not gonna let me kill a kid. Oh, this is pretty bad. Oh, we've got to do something with the body. 
Don't just stare at it. You had to do, Lady Mira. You had no choice. I need to get back. Someone might see me. I'll take care of him. I know a few places in Fleabo. No one will ever find him. That's good. Good luck, and be careful. Thanks. Probably should wash the blood off your face. Everything all right, sir? <gasps> Damien, where are you? Um. Keep. Oh God, I don't know what the best option is. We'll try keeping it, because just tossing it here will be found definitely. Okay. Um. Oh boy. I mean, she's probably not gonna have a chance to ditch it later. She's gonna be in her room to be found. You can barely see the uh, stab wound in Ethan's throat. That's good. You know, as far as a funeral goes. What's Gwyn Whitehill doing here? No idea. She was the Hello, one that. Roderick. Sir Roland, it's been a while since we've met. Yes. Last time I saw you, you and my brother had almost started a war. Your father wanted to murder Asher for your little love affair, remember? That was a long time ago. May we speak privately? Sure, why not? My lady. Roderick, I came here because... I know how hard these past few days must have been for you and your family. I know my words probably mean nothing to you. Thank you, Gwyn. I'm so sorry, Be polite. Roderick. No reason to... Your brother didn't deserve this. Be mean to her. She seems like a reasonably nice person. Listen. I know my father is intent on using Ryan as a hostage. But I think you deserve some news of him. I know it's little consolation. But if I can offer you this... So you have news of Ryan? Yes. He's well. Not happy, but... Just know your brother is safe at High Point. I'm looking after him, but... What? The other day he said something that made me worry. He asked me if his father died because he was a coward. He asked if he was really a thief and a traitor like my father says. I don't wish to upset you, but... Please help him, Gwyn. Don't let him believe what your father tells him. I've been doing my best to set him right, but he is only a child. He feels forgotten, alone. He's waiting for his family, but every day my father tells him they will never come. That they've chosen their pride over him. I will get him back. He'll be with his family again. You tell him that. Of course. But if you truly want to bring Ryan home, this war has to end. You know that. We don't have to be enemies, Roderick. Hello, Gwyn. It's good to see you, Talia. I hope I can count on your discretion. Roderick. You should speak to mother. It's a little hard to end the war when, you know, your father kind of mother keeps wanting to be in the superior I'm position. Sure he should be here. He should be with his family. But instead, they send her. Gwen came here on her own. She wanted us to know Ryan is okay. It's happening all over again. I can see it. My father's house was once mighty like this one, but his loyalty to the Targaryens cost us dearly. I watched as countless of our kin fell, saw our lands destroyed, everything we clung to was ripped from our hands. I can't watch that same fate before this family. Our house. My children. I won't let that happen to us. You must Hopefully. be ready to defend us, Roderick. Of course. Your body may be damaged, but your spirit must be like iron. You let nothing stand in your way, do you understand? If you have to murder every last White Hill down to the babes in their beds, no matter what, you must do it. Promise me. It won't come to that. We will defeat them. War asks much of a man that he is not prepared to give. You must be ready. Promise me. We will be ready, Mother. Jeez, Mira, pushy pushy. Asher, even Garrett, they all stand with us. 
We are strong. Yes. I suppose we have to be. Not going to go so far so far as to, you know, just murder willy-nilly. Would you say a few words, my lord? I really like the blue flames that the ironwood burns. I'm starting to not trust the mother. She seems bent on doing everything her own way. My father. Was everything. Everything I ever wanted to be. He showed me what it is to be a lord. He was always kind. I never knew a better man. And I am. I am sorry. I love you, father. Ethan, my little brother. When I left, he was just a boy. But when his house needed him, he rose to the task like a lord. He would have been proud. Oh boy. We honor Lord Gregor Forrester. My husband. My love. And our Lord Ethan. My sweet little boy. <laughs> but now is time to say goodbye. Those. Father and son are returned to the earth, to the ice. And from their sacrifice, new life begins. Seeds. Iron from ice. Uh, iron, 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 iron. Ironwood tree uh, seeds, I suppose. That's kind of a cool little thing. In the order. I don't know if it matters, but. I suppose the most reasonable way to do it is the order of death? Order of lordship and. Pretty much everything else, I suppose. But won't that blue flame burn the seeds? I mean, if it's enough to burn the trees. From eyes, from eyes, we fall still as born to eyes, we all return. I've sworn, I've sworn to guard this rest you've earned. I'd bear my neck to win in pain and swim the shivering sea. Pain slavers in crimson rains to bring. Not bad. All right. Looks like everybody survived to the end, for once. What 
is going on? Roderick, you have to do something. Lord Whitehill's son has arrived. Oh, good. Griff Whitehill means to torment us. Nothing worse than a fourthborn with something to prove. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Form up and follow my lead. You'll be taking your vows. You too, Tuttle. Time to start proving you're a brother. That seems rather quick, doesn't it? Oh, the things we do for family. I wonder sometimes if it's worth it. All the sacrifices. Enjoy the wedding. How much further to Marine? A few days. If the Lost Legion doesn't catch up to us first. No. I overheard a couple of men whispering about the Lannister Guard. They're questioning people. Is there anything else we need to be worried about? What was that? Oh. Did they wander in through the dragon's cave? Oh, night. I wonder if that's because playing through this section or... Alright. So, with majority on not forging the letter. Not kissing the ring. Uh, slightly on the min minority on getting the betrothal. Way with the majority after standing for Cotter. And way with the majority on killing the attacker. So aside from the betrothal... Alright guys, that's episode 2 of Game of Thrones. I'll let you all enjoy the uh, credits and the music. Until next time, catch you later. Fight on, fight on.